Hello my crafty friends, it's Jelly Bean, and today is week three of our Summer Craft Hop Giveaway 2019, and myself and five other ladies, handcrafted by Carrie, Christy Eve, Donna Dreams Times Three, Tina's Crafty Life, and Catsell Creates are having a hop. And we are also giving away prizes. Each channel is going to be having giveaways. And also we have a grand prize of a $30 PayPal credit that will be sent to your PayPal. And in order to qualify for the grand prize, you must subscribe to all six channels. And go to all six channels and watch the hop videos, like and comment on each video. And you will be entered into the drawing, which will be on the 29th. And Carrie of Handcrafted by Carrie will do that drawing. But I'm having a giveaway every week. And this is the week two giveaway. In week two, I made this shabby paintbrush. Shabby altered paintbrush. And the Craft Geek Decorative Pennant. Um... It's a decorative staple pinner. But anyway, this was week two's prize. And I'm going to draw and go ahead and draw the winner for this prize. And I have taken everyone's name and printed them out. Now, there were 37 comments, but only 24 people actually did what was necessary to be entered so if you commented and thought you were going to be entered by commenting you need to go back and watch the video because there was something a little extra you had to do in order to be entered in the drawing and watch the videos because it'll be like that each week and i'm just going to go ahead while i'm talking to you and fold up all the entries and put them here in the box so we can draw the winner and see who gets the beautiful paintbrush and the decorative stapler now I apologize to y'all for not getting my videos out yesterday they were actually supposed to be uploaded yesterday but one thing after another happened, as you can probably, well, you probably can't tell yet, but I have moved my filming area station over to where I craft. Because before, in order to make the videos and craft, I would have to stand up at the counter and do all that. So I have tried to put as many lights as I could. I think I got four lights here, yeah and put a camera holder phone holder here over my craft area where i actually sit and craft that way i can sit down and do the tutorials that way so it's not as hard on my back i've had three back surgeries and it's a little hard sometimes so anyway Besides that, and trying to get used to a new setup, my camera decided to stop in the middle of my video, and I didn't realize until I was finished. So, I did not get to do a tutorial this week, and you'll see what I created here in a minute. I'm going to show y'all, but I'm going to do a project share and show you what I created, but I'm going to be making another one this week. So, the tutorial will come later this week, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm going to be doing a tutorial of. I've got to get a lot of stuff out of my phone so it won't keep cutting off free up some memory okay that is everybody's name into the box right here and I'm just going to shake up everything and so it's fair I'm going to put a lid over it kind of stir them around a little bit and close my eyes and pick one 
And the winner of the paintbrush and the thing is Lisa Farron. Congratulations, Lisa. If you will email me, I will email me your address. I will ship those out to you Monday. Congratulations. Okay. Now, I'm going to set this stuff to the side real quick. If I had a side to sit it to. <laughs> Isn't it funny how when you're creating, everything gets all jumbled up? Okay. This week, I created an embellishment box. I created a shabby chic embellishment box. Shabby chic is my favorite, y'all. Y'all know. And I don't know if you can see the glitter on this. There's a lot of glitter. It really glimmers. Let me see if I can do something here and try to show y'all some of the glitter. Because sometimes if I do the lights a little differently, you can see it. Okay, that one's not going to work. Alright, you can see it on the flowers, but it is completely covered with glitter everywhere. I have stickled and glittered everything, and I made these stick pins right here and put those in there. These are some little, let me give us some more light so we can see what I'm talking about here. Excuse me. Okay. Anyway, I made the butterflies like I showed y'all last time, except for this time I put three layers on the butterflies and I stickled up the front of it got the little seed beads going down the center and I made three this one there's one here over here and there's one on the flower it's a little bit smaller I made the rose I made the bud I made this flower this flower I did not make that's the only one I didn't make but these are some little puffy feathers that you peel it back off and do that and this right here says smile often and I kind of shabbied it up around the edges distressed it and I've got some really pretty leaves here in the back that I glittered and the feathers coming out and this real pretty pink satin bow and I have the little iridescent pearls going all which ways and this giant pearl here so this is my shabby chic embellishment box. Around the edges, I put pom-pom trim and some lace with iridescent fibers. And I put this little trim right here with the beads on there. So that goes all the way around the sides. And on the inside, oh yeah, I put some bling too. And on the bling I put this piece here I'm trying to get it close where y'all can see this piece here has a little tiny green um, cabochon roses and there is a bling heart right here and I added the bling to the center of that flower but on the inside of this I have loaded it down and I'm going to give you a little bit of an idea. Some things, if I take them out, they'll mess up. But I had these little tiny bottles, and I put a sequins mix, some glitter. Can y'all see? Okay. And this is some little beads that are pink and like a champagne color and white. And in between the bottles, because they are glass, I stuck these little um, thread bobbins. And one has pink and gold ribbon. And if I can get it back right. You never get it back in the same way it comes out. And some uh, eyelash trim, some pink eyelash trim. And I just stuck those in between the bottles so they won't break when I ship them. In this pocket here, I've got some little tiny wood pieces. There's some flamingos and hearts and flowers. 
and butterflies and those little pieces are there and then under that I've got a bunch of these little pink clear pink clothespins and some of the big bling pink gems flat back gems and let me see if I can get these back in here these little flamingos right here were actually on like drink not drink stirs they were on like sandwich picks the long sandwich picks and I cut those off in this pocket I've got different shades of pink and metallic paper clips and this pocket over here I've got some more of the little tiny bottles these are a little bit smaller and I have pink pom-poms gold seed beads and these are the micro beads for those of you who've never used micro beads look how tiny these are these work excellent in your shakers it makes them shake around better and I just put those in there and I took these and kind of these are some square pink flat back bling and I just kind of put these in between the bottles to keep them from rubbing against each other on the glass. So, if I can get, I'll get it back in there in a minute. In this pocket here, I've got some of the iridescent pearl trim like I used on top. Some flat back pearls in pink. And I've got some bigger pearls in here that you can use on your projects. Those are pretty good size too. And then, and I'm going to set the doilies to the side for a minute. I've got some paper doilies in there. These are some paper rosettes that I made um, in two different sizes. There's this size and this size. And I just included um, two of each pattern, which is pink. This one's like a tropical and this one's just pink. And then I have some washi samples. All my washi samples are at least 24 inches long. And I just put those in there like that. And this pocket is some ephemera that I fussy cut out. There's flowers, bears, buttons, bows, butterflies, just all different shapes in here. And in this pocket here, I have some pink roses a big one of the extra wide clothespins I put in some of the leaves like I used on top I have a um it's like a clay rose and some more bling of white pearls and clear all that goes in this pocket See if I can get it back in there. <laughs> so we have that. And right here I have some gold trim. And I have over two yards of this really pretty lace with gold thread in it. And the gold thread kind of, I thought it kind of looked like a flower down in there. So I put it upside down. <laughs> but this is week three prize. Now... Like I said, and paper doilies, I will do a tutorial on this later and show y'all how I made it. I'm going to make one, but in purple. So when I make that one, I'll do the tutorial. Things just, every time I tried to restart the video and redo it, it just didn't work for some reason and also I had had someone ask me about how to make the rosebud type flower so I was I'm also going to show how to make the flowers to put on here and I'll probably show how I assembled the butterflies as well but I will be giving this away this is week three prize and in order to win this prize you're going to have to leave a comment and along with your comment I want you to leave at the end or hang on I'm gonna tell you 
because I forgot to write it down. In with the smiley when if you're on your phone if you click the little smiley down there it'll um, give you a whole bunch of little emojis that you can use there's one that is a butterfly and I want you to leave a butterfly in with your comment now if you cannot find the butterfly or do not know how to do that at the end of your comment type the word butterfly now, if you don't do this, you don't get entered into the drawing. So, I haven't hit it, hid the part to tell you how to win because 37 comments and only 24 people watched to know what to do to be entered was kind of off, I thought. So, I'm not going to make it as hard this week. I want everyone to participate. I want everyone to watch the video. Don't forget the links below in the description below the links will be to all the other channels participating in the hop don't forget to go to their channels and check them out so you can be entered into the grand prize $30 PayPal credit the grand prize giveaway so that is all for right now I'll be back later in the week to show y'all how to assemble one of these now I told you a little bit about everything. I didn't tell you I used mulberry paper and covered the box and then I covered that with lace. So I'm going to do the tutorial. You'll see everything then. But good luck everyone. This is a beautiful box to win and I will probably stick a couple more things in there that I didn't show that will be a surprise. So don't forget to leave your comment. Don't forget to leave the thing in there that you're supposed to so you can be entered and y'all have a crafty day don't forget to like and comment on this video and share it with your friends y'all have a crafty day and i'll see you next time